Hello everybody, I hope that you're well, I hope you're enjoying the sunshine. So a bit of information about some of the ways in which we're going to be navigating the next few weeks together with the legal restrictions for the pandemic now having ended. We've been working through what we're now going to be doing over the next few weeks. We're aware that case rates are high, but vaccination rates are also high. And we're aware that all of us in our church community are in quite different spaces on this as well. So we want to try and find a way forward which will uh, help us to sustain and develop our life together, but also to keep everybody safe. So let me give you a bit of a rundown on what's going to be happening. So the hand sanitizer that is by every entrance to the building will remain in place. Those things are stuck to the wall. They're going to stay there. We'd encourage you to use it every time you enter the building. The QR code will also remain so as you with the app can uh, sign in in that way. We're going to be keeping our seats a bit more spaced out than we would have done before the pandemic as well. And we're going to encourage everybody to have an ongoing regard to uh, social distancing where possible. We're going to, over the next six weeks, avoid uh, sharing items where possible. So we won't be passing offering bags around, for example, but we will leave the basket at the back as we have done at our in-person services since Easter. And we're actually gonna not take communion together until uh, September to help with this also. We will be doing it at evening prayer on Facebook as well, but not in the room together until September. The windows will be open in order to have good ventilation while we're meeting together on Sundays and at the church meeting uh, tomorrow night. So bring a jumper because if it gets cold, we get cold. Uh, obviously, at the moment, that's not a problem, but do uh, come prepared for that. Uh, face coverings are encouraged, but optional. So we're not going to be making people wear them. But if you feel able to do that, that would be a blessing and it would be appreciated. After Sunday services, when we have refreshments, and in fact, before Sunday services, when we have refreshments now as well, and you might want to think about uh, spreading out, so having before um, or after service refreshments, and that way we might have less people uh, having them at the same time. But they're all going to be served from the hatch. There won't be any sort of self-service stuff from the tables. So everything's going to be served uh, from the hatch. And we'll encourage folks as they come in to greet each other in contactless ways so our stewards won't be going to uh, shake your hand um, but that's not because they don't like you they don't love you it's just because we're trying to be sensible at the moment and singing will be back as of Sunday morning uh, we won't have any live music for a couple of weeks but we will be able to sing along with some of the pre-recorded songs that we have ready and some that we've used uh, while we've been having our YouTube services as well, but you will be able to sing along with those. If uh, you are able to do it, I would encourage you to take a lateral flow test before joining us uh, for worship or indeed for any uh, large gathering here. And of course, if you have any symptoms of coronavirus, please don't come and join us um, together. We don't want to spread uh, COVID around. Uh, but uh, stay at home and get tested so we can be sure that it's safe to have you with us. If you have other questions about what's going to be happening, please do get in touch. Please do ask. We'd be pleased to help in any way that we can. But I think, friends, I really would encourage you to bear with one another in words from Ephesians 4. We're going to need to be sensitive. We're going to need to be patient. We're not all in the same place. And if we're going to be at our best as a community, we're going to need to be demonstrating understanding and gentleness with one another. Uh, so we're going to give this a go and see how we get on. We hope that you're going to work with us and help us. But if you've got, I say, any questions, do get in touch. More information will go out in the weekly email prior to uh, our services on Sunday. So all this will be written down there. Uh, but the church meeting tomorrow, those of you who are church members, please do come. We've got important things we need to do together and we're going to be doing that in person. But say so you'll be able to space out in the room if you are able to do wear a face covering for the occasion. And we won't be singing uh, tomorrow night. So I look forward to seeing many of you then. Take care. Bye.